What a breakfast. It may be the best breakfast I have ever had. This is the type of breakfast that you reward yourself with. But what could I have done to earn a meal like this? The day starts off with a bus ride over to ESPN's wide world of sports. Let's do this. That's right, it's time to do Disney's Tower of Terror 10 miler. Time to get my packet and check out the expo. All right, got the bib, now just gotta go off, get the Grace t-shirt, check out the rest of the expo, and we'll see what's going on around here. If you're new to Disney races, you want to make sure you get to the expo on the first day. The best merch sells out very fast. With that, it's time to head back to the Pop Century Resort and get some rest. It's going to be an early morning. It is 3 a.m. It must be time to head to the race start. It's got to be about 60 degrees out. Should be perfect for running. Did I mention that the race starts early? The race technically starts at 5 a.m., but it takes quite a while to get from the bus to Epcot to the race start itself. As the start corrals fill, that must mean it's about time to get this race started. All right, let's do this. We start off with a great run through Epcot. I just love that they've got all of the lights turned on and the torches burning for the runners. We finish off Epcot with a nice little stroll through the World Showcase before moving on to the boardwalk. Watch out though, it can be quite slippery. Next up is Hollywood Studios. They really make you feel like a rock star when you run through this park. I can't believe we got to run through the Star Wars land. It's so amazing to see it lit up at night. Too bad the rides aren't up and running yet. I may have had to go on Slinky Dog Dash. And there it is, the one, the only, the Tower of Terror. It's like we're back in 1939. Five miles done, five more miles to go. There's nothing like watching the sunrise at the end of a long run. And with that, it's time for one more spin through Epcot. If you're enjoying the video, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe. It really does help the channel. Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, oh, let's get this run done Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is 
So what do you do after an awesome 10 mile run? It's time for breakfast. And oh, what a breakfast it is. We are at Chef Art Smith's homecoming restaurant at Disney Springs. You won't find a better breakfast anywhere. If I could take you back to my youth Show you what I wish I knew. My will is strong with a place to live. It's time to recover from those 27,000 steps with the Hallelujah Biscuits. Believe me, they taste even better than they look. When I return from my spinning bone, I'm remembering the words you told me. Wait. It doesn't get much better than this. Take me back where I